No, that's not a consequence. I'll come to that. But, but the reason I want, to, I want to make the point here is that in the next year or two, this foundation is being locked in and it's not, we're not going to stop it. It gets much more interesting after that. Because remember, the computers are now doing self-improvement. They're learning how to plan and they don't have to listen to us anymore. We call that super intelligence or ASI, artificial super intelligence. And this is the theory that there will be computers that are smarter than the sum of humans. Yeah. The San Francisco consensus is this occurs within six years, just based on scaling. Now, in order to pull this off, you have to have an enormous amount of power. I was here yesterday testifying about this, you know, and we need like, I can talk at some length about how many gigawatts and how many nuclear power plants and all the kind of stuff we can talk about separately. This path is not understood in our society. There's no language for what happens with the arrival of this. I wrote a book on this with Henry Kissinger called Genesis, which you know I recommend, obviously, because uh, I wrote available. it. Uh, available. <laughs> available in your usual places. Uh, but the important point is, this is happening faster than our human, that our, our society, our democracy, our laws will address. And there's lots of implications. That's why it's underhyped. People do not understand what happens when you have intelligence at this level, which is largely free. That's the point.